you know, this coronavirus thing, it's the end of the world as we knew it. Is this really about the future? So I want you to pay attention. I don't care where you live in the world, because I think this is clear a vision of the future as possible. Watch the video, because otherwise words will not do it justice. Millions of people are now losing their jobs. They're losing everything. You know, and, and when you look at, you know, the, the worst advice is go to school and get a job because in the information age, you know, with Uber, it's not, you, don't, you don't need to be an Uber driver because Uber doesn't need you. And the biggest, one of the biggest employers are trucks. So all these truck drivers, you know, who are in, going across the country and all this stuff, they don't need you. You know, they can put something in there and you know, artificial intelligence will drive the truck for you. So, you know, you know, the explaining with drones, you don't need pilots. The pilot in the Marine Corps, and I went to Pensacola, Florida, where I was trained, and they said, we don't need pilots anymore. But instead of these big rooms where drone pilots said they can fly a number of drones. This is not the only time this has happened. You know, it destroyed Zimbabwe. It's, it's destroying Venezuela right now destroyed Greece and in modern times. And then World War II was created because the Weimar Republic of Germany printed too much money. Same thing we're doing today. And when, uh, and when they printed so much money, they went to hyperinflation. And hyperinflation is an old age old story where a guy goes to the grocery store with a wheelbarrow full of money and he runs in the store to go buy, or she runs in the store to buy some food, and he or she comes out, the money was still there, they stole the wheelbarrow. And I think really that's the lesson that people should listen to there, that the wheelbarrow is more important than your money. So we can note that. And throughout history, as the Romans have done it, you know, they, they put fake metal inside coins. Nothing's changed. So it's not a new phenomenon. So what's going to happen if, the, if it keeps going up? The U.S. may default on its bond. The default means we can't pay. You. And so that's why many countries now, different central banks like Bank of Japan, Bank of China, European Central Bank, they get a little spooked at the U.S. as we keep printing more money. They don't know if we can pay our bonds. And that's what happened in September 2019. The shadow banking system went through. So I thought it was interesting that the Fed now rushes in to bail out the, sh the, the banking system you cannot see, and COVID virus pops up. Like, oh, that's kind of interesting. But I'm not going to go near that one. I've been warned. You know, I don't know how long they're going to keep printing money and how, how much longer they're going to keep paying people to stay at home, and that's coming. But what's happening is the Fed is they're now saying to every company we're bailing out, like United Airlines or... Um, General Electric and all this because the corporate sales ran their companies into the ground like Boeing. When the Fed bails out Boeing, they're going to take part ownership of the company. That's communism. So right in front of our eyes right now, we can see capitalism, socialism, and communism. That's what I'm concerned about. And the average person without financial education from our schools can't see it. They can't see it. So that's, that's the future. If you had this idea of go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, get out of debt, and invest for the long term in the stock market, that's old. That's your prison. It's what, it's what people have put into your head. And so Kim was saying, she's driving in today, and people are standing in a parking lot looking for jobs. But they're still operating on the old. And so a rich dad has been, it's been really tough being chicken little saying the sky is falling, the sky is falling, the sky is, well, the sky fell. And this coronavirus thing, it's the end of the world as we knew it, we know it. And it's about time people grow up, you know? So that means instead of trying to be an employee and have somebody take care of you, it might be an opportunity to grow up and take care of other people, to hire people, to provide jobs rather than look for a job. And that's my point of view. The problem is our school system doesn't provide you that education. They're still brainwashing you into becoming an employee or a doctor or a lawyer or an accountant, heaven forbid. And as, I don't know if you know this, but accountants and lawyers are obsolete already because you don't really need them with artificial intelligence coming along. 
So our school system is obsolete, but so is the, I, I, are the ideas in your head. So people call me a pessimist. I'm actually an optimist because I can see the future and the future is very bright, but you have to let go of old ideas. Grow up. That's really the message from Rich Dad. Now, I know I piss a lot of people off when I say that. Well, you know how you have no idea how hard it was for me. You have no idea how hard it is. I said, you have no idea how hard it is for Kim and I. You know, we've been sued for $30 million. We've had people lie, cheat, and steal inside our company. So it hasn't been easy being an entrepreneur. So if you want it easy, go get a job with the government. This is a little bit more than people need to know, but you know, there's a thing called the debt to GDP ratio. When the thing crashed in 2020 in March, the debt went up and the GDP, the gross domestic product went down. This has happened throughout history. This is not the only time this has happened. The Federal Reserve Bank is a socialist or a communist organization, but they'll never tell you that. What this marks to me is the end of the American empire. And because that's what happened with the end of the Roman empire. And what happened at the end of the Roman empire, the, uh, the, the leaders of Rome debased the currency that they, they were taking silver coins and gold coins they were filing them and melting them and doing all these goofy things. They were fighting wars, you know, we're still fighting wars that we couldn't afford, they couldn't afford. And they started taxing the worker. And back in Roman times, the worker was the farmer or the yeoman. And so the government, those fat asses up there were just, just taxing the crap out of the worker. And pretty soon the worker says, why should I work? Because, you know, I've got to just keep giving my money to the government. And pretty soon they built, they call them Roman circuses, you know, so they're the big coliseums and they were feeding lions, I mean, people to lions and all that other stuff. You know, today we have the Super Bowl and the March Madness and everything's the same, you know, it's the same. Our Federal Reserve Bank, our treasury and our government has messed up the US dollar so much that they have to find a way to keep people happy. So the stimulus money they print, everybody says, oh God, you know, it's because of they shut the economy down and this and that. And everybody says, yeah, so they're gonna give me PPP and all of this stuff. So just remember this, that money comes from production. And when we pay people not to produce, which is PPP and all that, we're just paying them not to revolt. You know, and that's what happened during the Roman times. And so I, that's why I say it's the end of the American empire because our money is corrupt. So that's basically it. Now, would I take the money? Absolutely. You know, we're talking about, don't fight the government, don't fight the Fed, don't fight politics. Do you know, if they're gonna give me a thousand bucks, I'll take it, but I would convert it into either gold, silver or Bitcoin. You've gotta be smarter than the government, which is not that hard to do. And it's, it's just coming apart right now. And you know, like when, uh, when the Fed talks about stimulus checks, well, the only people that get rich, you know, they get all that money for free. It goes into them via BlackRock, the hedge fund, and it goes straight into Wall Street. And then the guys who own Facebook and Amazon get richer. UBI is a small part of it. They're, what they're doing is they're propping up zombies. And zombies are companies that are mismatched, like Hertz right now is completely bankrupt. Boeing is bankrupt. Um, the cruise ships are bankrupt. Ford's bankrupt. And the Fed, the Treasury, and Wall Street keep propping them up. I've said to your generation, you have more power today with that iPhone than any other generation in history. Do you know what I mean? The, that iPhone, is that 2007 or 2009 it came out? Man, you guys have so much power to be the best entrepreneurs in the world. So there's a lot of good things happening for you guys, except if you went to school and you're taught by those incompetent school teachers like my poor dad. Now, they're good people, but they haven't got any, as, as they say in Spanish, no cajones. 
No cojones. The Federal Reserve Bank is a socialist or a communist organization, but they'll never tell you that. When I was about 25 years old, I started studying this stuff, and the more I studied, the more I felt I needed a shower. You know, I mean, they, they were just lying to us. When the market crashed in 2020, March of 2020, only 16% of the teachers, firefighters, and police officers' pension was funded, 16%. So they had $16 for every hundred they owed. Now it's down to six. They're broke. So they're covering all of this up. So they want to bring UBI in so they can just mass produce money. And then so they're going to pay people not to work so they can escape. Do, do, do you know what I mean? So, well, we gave you all this money. We gave you all this money and they're going to escape. You know, I say to your generation, with that iPhone, become an entrepreneur. You know, so you you don't you don't need the, you don't need the job security. Nothing wrong with it, but you don't want to need it. You don't need the UBI. You don't need the paycheck. If you can get off of needing that paycheck, you're free. If you can make your own money. That's the difference. This is a little bit more than people need to know, but you know, there's a thing called the debt to GDP ratio. So when the thing crashed in 2020 in March, the debt went up and the GDP, the gross domestic product went down. So we produce less, but we, we raised the debt up. So debt, debt went up, GDP went down. And if this coronavirus comes back, which I think it will, we're, we're bankrupt. Once debt to GDP passes 90%, we're bankrupt today. It's 115% debt to GDP in America. So we're already bankrupt. And so the UBI is no different than the, the Romans paying the Roman citizens to sit in the Colosseum and watch the, the Dallas Cowboys play the Green Bay Packers. You know, it's, nothing really changes. What they're afraid of is deflation because deflation means depression. So this thing called quantitative easing, which is printing money, that came out in 1930. You know, well, Bernanke thinks he did it, but he, he copied it in 1930. And then they have zero interest rates policy. So what that means is they print money and then they pay you nothing, no interest, zero interest rate policy. And people still say to their kids, go to school, work hard, you know, save money and, you know, save, save, save till it hurts. If you think like an entrepreneur, you've really got to think outside the box. And I said again, the iPhone gives you so much power. You know, I, I met that, I talked to that young guy. <clears throat> He's got his, his, his. He's 19 years old, and his father wants me to tell him to go back to college. And so I called him up. <laughs> I, th I think the numbers were he gets $12 a month on a subscription basis. And he's got, I think, 6,000 or 7,000, 6,000 subscribers. So he's making like 72,000 a month. He says, my father thinks I should go back to college. <laughs> I said, well, I, I hate to tell you, I, 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 I called his father and said, I think your son's in good shape. You know, I was watching CNBC this morning with a, that's another communist organization, but uh, they had this guy named Jim Grant get on there and he was explaining exactly what I'm saying to you guys. You can't just keep printing this money. And so CNBC asked him, I said, so what should you do? He says, buy gold and buy silver. He says, they're going to destroy the dollar. And the guy, Joe Kernan of CNBC says, ah, that's such an old idea. You know, I'm going, Geez. you know, gold and silver have been here since God created this earth. And Bitcoin is the, is the next replacement to that. So for your generation, it really is to get outside of what mainstream media says is the right way to think and think for yourselves.